you spent three or four hours creating yeah, that. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I'm Chris here outside Kappa Studios and today we're gonna talk about the musical score in The Chosen. Chris is gonna talk with Matt Nelson, one of the composers, about the music. And then I'm gonna talk with John Quinn when it comes to the editing process with the music. Most films and television shows, uh, they always have temp music. Temp music stands for temporary music. So everybody kind of gets on the same page for tone, rhythm, that sort of thing. But Dallas does not like temp score. He does not want to hear any music. He just watches it totally dry. And it's really unique and it's actually really cool. I, I wonder if he hears the music like in his head of where music will start and stop. We'll cut in music just because that's part of our process. And then when we hand the cut over to Dallas to review, we take the music out. What does that process look like to take the scenes and create music to it? We do what's called spotting the picture, which is we watch the episode down. We decide where in the episode music needs to go. What are the parts in the episode where we need to feel like we're, we've got momentum that's moving into a new scene? Mm -hmm. Score is short for underscore. What what do we want to underscore with music? You play an instrument yourself, right? I do. I play a few instruments, but my two main instruments are guitar and cello. Most of the plucky okay. acoustic instruments, yeah. <laughs> if you hear any of those, mandolin or cello or guitar or um, those are those are all being generated by my by my hands. Oh, okay, and yeah. then you have some other musicians that take care of the rest of the. Uh, yeah, Dan actually plays yeah. a good amount of the percussion. Okay. I know all the tricks. Um, there's a cue in episode four of this season, cool. um, of season where two. Jonathan Rumi, Jesus himself is playing some shakers on a, one of the keys. I have always known Jesus was musical. I know. For sure. Absolutely. <laughs> he how was a musician. Can you tell me a little bit of the story of how you created Trouble? So we had a couple of different songs that we were looking at using in that sequence at the end of episode eight in season one. Outside, outside songs okay. by a couple of other artists. And um, there was one song that we were planning to get and what happens in, and this is where the business stuff comes into it, because we don't own it and we haven't written it, we have to license the song to be able to use it in right. this production. The artist was into it, the artist manager was into us using the song, but the license didn't come through in time and we all kind of looked at each other and said, well, I guess we're gonna have to come up with something else. So literally, Dan and I walked to the studio down the street and we spent about three or four hours and wrote and recorded um, what, trouble. What you trouble? What you hear oh, at the end of the season? You spent three or one. four hours creating. <laughs> yeah, that. it's pretty crazy. Dan Hasseltine, if anybody's listened to Jars of Clay, is a really brilliant lyricist and songwriter. Mm. And so all of those lyrics really and the imagery all sort of came from Dan. So Dan kind of wrote the majority of the lyrics, mm -hmm. and uh, yep. man. How catchy was that? It's a good thing that the other music didn't really come through because that yeah, was a huge fan favorite. And you guys have I written know. the entire song now, right? It's nearly done and it's in process. Well, Matt, it's been great chatting. Thanks for sharing about what you do. We love the music of The Chosen, and so we're so excited to get to meet you. That was incredible. I mean, seriously, the music in The Chosen is one of a kind. Let us know in the comments the next adventure you'd like to go on with us with The Chosen and what more you would like to learn. Thank you so much for joining us.